Welcome back guys to another Zero DTE video and today Ernie's going to be reviewing his trade logs so make sure you stay tuned. If you're interested in becoming a pro trader check out the link in the description where you can find Ernie's course. As always I hope you enjoy guys. The basic strategy or the basic trade that we put on is an out of the money butterfly. We're not doing an iron fly or anything like that, just a simple long fly, either a call or a put, and we put it way out of the money far enough so that our risk to reward is about one to 10, one to nine, one to 10, somewhere around there. Now there's also a market neutral or market agnostic version of that where we put one of these out of the money butterflies above the market and one below the market. Now when you do that, you if my thumb represented the debit, you can see that it doubles up the debit. So those strategies, we tend to push them a little bit further so that the effect of that debit is still small. Now, in terms of risk management, the single out of the money butterfly, so if this is the debit and this this is your fly, really don't manage the risk. If the trade goes against me, really don't do anything. We look at it as defined risk and not worth going after. Now, occasionally what will happen, and one of the reasons why we don't manage that risk is that you'll find very late in the day, sometimes we have a, a big reversal and then that risk that might look like 100% loss turns into a big winner. So that's one of the reasons why we don't manage it. And plus it provides a simplicity to the overall strategy. If you were to look at my trade log, this is the net column, the net result of each trade. That has figured into it the commissions and exchange fees and all that based on this table up here on the upper left, depending on what we're trading, whether it's the SPX, the ES, the micros, SPY, or the NDX. So all of the fees and the multipliers are already figured in. So the results that you see on that trade already have fees and commissions figured in. So there's no inflating of, of what we're doing here. All right. Some other interesting things would be the sharp ratio. If you're familiar with the sharp ratio, then you would know that a sharp ratio above two is considered exceptional. Well, this is a sharp ratio of five. So this is literally off the charts in terms of the ease at which you can make profits. Now, that's not to say that it's easy. In fact, it's still, you know, like any strategy, it requires discipline and technique and skill and a good profit management framework in order to extract the profit. But a sharp rate ratio of five is really considered outstanding, all right? In red over here are all the losers. And if you go over here to the percent return in column E, you'll see that those losers typically go to 100%. Occasionally, I recover some of the loss, but you know, here's a, a streak of losers. And here you can see that that is exactly what I said is that we really do not manage the losses. And you can see that you can have a lot of streaks. Here's a big losing streak right here. You don't get that sense at all when you look at the equity curve because really the losses are so small compared to the wins that they, they get hidden in here. And what we're really fighting for is keeping our capital preserved. And so the vast majority of our wins are going to be small wins that are going to offset those losses. And then we get uh, larger wins that tend to propel the account up and then we hold those levels and it propels up and then hold the level, propel up, hold the level, etc. So that's exactly what you're seeing here. So even though it can be streaky in the course of say 250 days, you can expect to have streaks that might last as long as eight, nine, 10 wins or losses in a row. And that's exactly how I compute what my maximum profit or position size should be. If I'm going to have eight or nine losses in a row, I have to figure out, well, what's that worst case scenario? How do I prevent and how far do I want to draw down? And so that's how I compute it. I look at what size would I tolerate? What would be my tolerance for risk in that situation? And generally that comes out to about somewhere between half a percent to 1% of my total capital in a six figure account. In a smaller account like this one, in the five figure account, probably something around three quarters of a percent to one and a half, one and a quarter to one and a half percent position size. So yeah, you've heard it right. So I've more than doubled this account without really risking much more than two or $300 in a trade. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the like button below. If there's any questions that you might have for Coach Ernie, make sure you'll leave them in the comment section. Thanks, guys.